Hey, this is Dave, and I'm with my brother Rich, and today we're working on, uh, we're almost about ready to floor, and so I thought I'd uh, show you how we're going to put a uh, floor leveler on this floor. As you can see, um, this is an old tile floor that we're going to cover with engineered hardwood, but it's sunk in a bit in this, in this one particular case. I can get my hand underneath here, um, and uh, what I've already done is taking this board and kind of going through here and find the low spots and the higher spots and I've drawn a circle on the floor to kind of show the general area where I want the level, leveler to be. And so my next step is after I kind of have that drawn out, the directions, this is uh, Easy Tech, or was it Tech, um, Tech Easy Level and it's a uh, it's a, basically a concrete mix that you mix up, but before you can do that, we have this uh, primer that they want you to put it on, and it goes with the, uh, with the leveler, and it's a multi-purpose prim primer. Basically, what you use to pour it, on and paint, pour it out and paint it on with a, uh, with a brush, and I've got an outline of where I expect we'll be putting some of this down. Now, they say to use a a one-to-one -one ratio if the surface is not porous, and this tile obviously would be not porous. So, uh, um, now the wood, you probably should make this, it's going to soak right up in that, so they want you to use a, a watered down mix, but we only have a little tiny area, so I'm not going to worry about that. Anyway, so now we just paint this on, and the whole goal is to just uh, make the surface something that would accept the concrete mixture well and that's what this that's what this uh, primer does so we'll go ahead and paint this on and uh, then we'll take the next step of mixing up the leveler this takes about 45 minutes to dry and after it's dry we're ready to put the leveler on so the next step is to mix up the stuff we have five and a five and a quarter quarts of water we're supposed to pour this in slowly and not breathe it because it's really bad for you bad for your lungs okay we're gonna mix this for three minutes okay so We'll get to uh, pouring. I'm gonna get you one of those blades too. It's mixed up pretty good. There may be a few lumps, but it's not bad. Now we're just gonna start pouring. And the outline is, you can see the outline there. So we may do a, that side and then work this way. There's lumps. I guess that's one way of mixing the lumps, huh? So we'll just basically where it is is what we'll do. bring it to this outside edge. Because they said it can do a feathered edge real well. So All you really have to do is get the right consistency with it. And the one thing about it though is that it dries pretty fast. So it, the directions say you only have about 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes to work with it. And after that, it's how it's gonna be. So anyway, this worked out really well, and we're going to be able to now lay our hardwood floor over this, and we'll have a nice level floor. So thanks for viewing. Please subscribe, and we'll see you next time.